Hello everyone, this is Mr. Warlock FTW. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Skyrim. I'm going to start my new game after I talk a minute. So, this has been a long time in the making. I've made a couple of Let's Plays in the past of Skyrim that failed. <laughs> and I would like to do one more try at this amazing game. This is a heavily modded game. And I hope you enjoy the mods that I have chosen. Um, I've got just a little bit over 230 mods installed, with about 186 of them being ESP files, so it's not over the um, ESP file cap. And I'm using several graphical mods. I'm not using an ENB, but I am using Imaginator. Clarilux and Project uh, Reality Climates of Tamriel. This music is intense for <laughs> what I'm saying. I anyway, um, several hundred mods, a <laughs> couple hundred mods at least. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them and tell you what they are. If I happen to go through and find a mod that I want to talk about, I will. But other than that, I just want to play the game. So let's start a new game. All right. I may cut out the uh, loading screens, especially this one, because it's kind of long. So see you in a second. OK, here's the character creation screen. I'm going to turn off the light. Um, I'll have to adjust some settings and set up the mods and I'm going to make my character but I'm going to probably do a speed run making my character uh, you know speed up this just you know it'll be going like doo -doo -doo -doo, and his face will be nah just kidding <laughs> I got a preset saved uh, let's not not this way I want to change it to dark elf first that would be really funny if it was a Dark Elf preset over a Nord. Okay, this character is going to be named Vendril. Um, as you can see, he is not the normal Dark Elf. He is a custom uh, skinned Dark Elf that I made with this um, race menu mod. Um, He's got light skin, dark I mean dark elf eyes. He's got the dark elf racial power and later on he'll have the wood elf racial power along with it because I'm going to be using Spurg to unlock a secondary racial power. Um, he's going to be a mixed race, dark elf and wood elf. Uh, I'm going to be making him have a stealth uh, character magic kind of mix kind of like his race. He's going to be kind of a Nightblade, if you will. Um, when he's stealthy, he's going to be using a bow and daggers and using magic to um, kind of bolster and enhance his natural abilities. I'm not going to be using Conjuration or uh, Destruction magic, but I am going to be using Illusion alteration, restoration, uh, enchanting, alchemy, and some other mods that um, add a lot of magic to the game. I have forbidden magic, or is it forgotten? Yeah, it's forgotten magic. And I also have um, uh, Fendrix, I think it's Magic Evolved or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of mods on this game, <laughs> and if I had listed them all, it would take hours. So I'm just going to get into the game. So let's um, name him. Uh, all right, Vendril. And I'm going to let everything load and set up the mods in the MCM menu so you don't have to watch that. Um, and if you want to see one of the preset things that I have in the MCM menu, you'll probably see it throughout the Let's Play, but I'm not going to be going through it all. It's just too tedious for the video's sake. And um, 
lots of stuff is going through, you know, popping up. And we're gonna, I'll meet you back in a second once I've configured everything. All right, we're back. I have configured 99% of the mods, but there are a couple I have to configure out of, I mean, in an outdoor area. Um, one of those is Clearalux. And a couple of them are mods that I have to do when things, certain things happen. So I can't do them in the MCM right away. So we're going to start this um, thing here. I have adjusted my um, Imaginator mod settings. And I'll show you what I did with them real quick. Got this on four or oh, point four. This on point one. Um, I've got this on point three. Saturation on one. I might increase that if I need to. Um, I've got sunlight on one and sky on one. And I don't have any bloom set up here because that's going to be handled through Clarilux. We have blue set to eight. And orange set to two, which will give things a nice color. Like the wood and stuff is a little bit more orange. I like that. So let's just start this. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Well, since I'm going to be a wood elf sort of uh, stealthy character, he's not a wood elf only, he's a dark elf as well, but. Um, that side of him, I'm going to have him camping in the woods, and that'll set me up pretty good for the uh, intro quest anyway. So we're going to start there. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. All right. That'll kind of set me up. I decided I may um, keep some of the loading screens because I'm using a mod that replaces them and makes them kind of funny. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, there's Alduin. He flew away. Alright, so. <laughs> We've already leveled up because of um, the perks given to us by Spurg, which is um, I forgot what the acronym stands for, but it's perk enhancement something gameplay something. Anyway, um, I have a few things I want to talk about here. Uh, this allows you to level up certain skills with uh, staves, so I'm going to use that. Any destruction magic or conjuration magic I'm going to use with stabs if I use them at all, or scrolls. Um, I'm not going to use it with magic as like my own character's personal magic. Um, I have shout leveling, which you gain a small amount of experience towards your speech skill when shouting. Uh, ingredients leveling, potion leveling, armor leveling. This will uh, level my armor skill while I'm walking around with a certain type of armor. Um, then when I eat food, it gives me experience for alchemy, so. Um, let's see, I got a few things here. I'm not using, I don't want that. I don't know why I turned that on. Um, just a few things. And I wanted this, oh yeah, I got my magnitude instead of duration. This way, illusion spells will. Um, so, the spell charge increases the duration of illusion spells by default, but it can also be set to increase the magnitude, so it'll affect higher level creatures. Um, yeah. Got a few things on here. This basically auto levels you, and you get to uh, choose perks and whatnot differently, and it gives you a bunch of new perks that the normal game doesn't have. Alright, so let's see what the game has randomly given us as equipment. Hmm, that's not too bad. 
I'll level up in a second. I don't really care for the hat. It looks kind of ratty. Ooh, I got a bow. Let's favorite that. Some steel arrows, nice. Uh, let's woodcutter's axe. Let's, um, hmm. Now we got the Helgen Reborn thing, but I want to do that after I get the Unbound quest from going and doing the uh, intro part of the game. And we don't have a dagger or anything like that, so might have to use the axe. <clears throat> Excuse my voice if it's a little bit rough. I just get over a cold. Oh, wow. You give us a lot of stuff. Um, might just take it all. Lock picking, that'll be nice. Um, archery. Uh, ring of archery, that's nice. Six garnet silver rings, wow. Oh, that's another mod I have that retextures and remeshes the rings to look better. At least some of them, not all of them. Silver necklace. Wow, I got a lot of silver stuff. That's just incredible. That's going to be good for selling. Uh, let's put on those magical rings that I got. And the necklace. Let's see. You see the necklace has uh, changed from the normal one. Let's get the ring. Oh, yeah. I can put up to ten rings on. I'm not going to abuse that, but it's... I'm going to put it on the index finger of my right hand. I think I put it on my right hand, yeah. But I can have up to ten rings on. Um, let's see if it actually shows up. Let's see, it should be on this hand, but I can't see because of my gauntlet. The bracers or whatever. No? Maybe I have to do it again. Right hand, index finger. Archery. I guess it just shows the effect. It doesn't show it on my character. Um, anyway, let's level up. And get our first perk, which I believe should be alteration to get my racial... Ancestor Awakening Power. Which will give me my second racial ability. Uh, wrong one. I got Ancestor's Wrath and then Ancest Awakened uh, Command Animal. So I'm going to have this one on for now. We got Healing. These are given to us automatically, so yeah, open locks. This is kind of my backup fail safe in case I don't have um, any lock picks because I will be using lock picking. But as a backup, I'm going to use that. And it's pretty much set up that I can unlock any lock uh, with that spell without. Um, without any trouble so it's like a you know if I want to unlock a master lock without if I run out of lock picks so let's uh, go see what happened to that about what the dragon over there just came from that direction I want to see if there's anybody hurt looks like it came from Riverwood uh, let me turn on my HUD real quick and get my Quest tracking things off, except for this one. Uh, I awaken this morning to the sounds of battle and something terrible, a dragon. Straight out of the legend of old, Helgen has been attacked and destroyed. Smoke and fire choke the skies over the town. Worse still, just before the dragon flew off, a blood-curdling scream echoed throughout the mountains. Has someone survived the attack? Do they need help? Perhaps they know something about what happened. It seems safe enough to investigate 
The dragon flew off past Riverwood, going north. Nobody has ever, I mean, is ever going to believe this. I wonder if anybody in Riverwood saw anything. Okay, so that's our beginning. Uh, let's go to Riverwood first, because that's the that's a cave, not Riverwood. So far, my game looks pretty good, and I'll set up Clara Lux in a minute, because I haven't set that up yet. I want to do that at night so I can see the lights better. And I'll do that on camera so you guys can see it. It's pretty cool. Alright. Hello? Is anybody here? Oh my gosh. Oh, poor guy. The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a, le a leather journal survived the attack. So read the journal. <clears throat> Twelfth of last seed, for, uh, fourth era, two o one. Hard to believe, I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much. Of Cyrodiil I haven't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A long history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon, and everyone will be returning home. I have la one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with me uh, with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered uh, 14th of last seed 4th era 201 I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim all seem quiet for now probably the first time since High King Torg was killed I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night. So long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. 15th of last seed, 4th era, 201. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near me, uh, near a small village called Helgen, and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the era has been filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they're searching for someone, someone very important. If I am not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim. But crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad bad plan. 16th of last seed, 4th era, 201. I woke, uh, I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camping under a rock outcropping on the edge of a volcanic marshes of the volcanic marshes I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought I have no idea where they are taking us but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag I guess a horse at, le uh, at least they let me keep my journal for now 17th of last seed, 4th era, 201. Shore's bones. If only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart with me, Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for 
the dragon. I'd not even be here to write down uh, this down. Yes, a dragon, big black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels, but that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Relov set aside their defenses long enough, uh, differences, long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back to, into the keep help the, uh, to help the others, survivors. While I've been asked to get warning to Riverwood as fast as possible, I still can't believe it. A dragon. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. That's a nice journal. Oh, sorry to see him die. Oh boy. Let's go inside the keep real quick. I want to see what's inside. Alright. Ah, well, the interiors don't look too dark with the uh, mods I have installed. That looks pretty good. I don't think anything here is very worthy of taking, so I'm going to leave it on him except for the axe. Let's see here. Now, I'm not using dynamic things like I normally do. Uh, it is a little bit darker than I thought. Anyway. Um, yeah, I usually use dynamic things when I'm playing Skyrim, but with some other mods it was making my game crash. Wow, I wish I had a torch. Well, that's not too bad. Um, oh! <sighs> okay. Let's grab some of these. Let's turn off my um, HUD here real quick. Just to... Alright, I'm gonna grab a Stormcloak robe. I mean, uh, the thing. I don't have any gauntlets, I don't think. Oh yeah, I took them off because I wanted to see my rings. Let's take that. I could probably melt it down. Um, I'll keep my bow. Let's see, which one's better? Right now, the fur bracers are better. So I'll drop these, and I'll drop that. I don't really want it. This doesn't really give me any um, benefits, so I'm not going to wear it, but I'm going to take it with me. Um, let's see. Okay, get some tankers and whatnot. This is the only barrel I can loot. Normally, all the barrels would be lootable with um, dynamic things, but I can't with uh, that off. So, I'm I'm also usually using Parrot Lord's uh, loot adjustments, but I decided to turn that off too because it adds a few things that conflicts with um, a couple mods I use also, namely some city overhaul mods. I don't think this one is lootable. I'm so used to looting every single barrel. Okay. Um. I don't think I can go much further. I might be able to get the magic book and whatnot over here. Uh, some bones. Uh, they don't really have a whole lot. Okay. Mm, I'll take their cloaks. They don't weigh a whole lot and I can sell them. Ooh, crude axe. That's from J6 Swords, I believe. Um, light painted body shield. I'll take that. I might use a shield at first. Uh, Warhammer. Alright. Book of the Dragonborn. Oh yeah, uh, most books that I pick up will teach me some speech skill. Because speech is kind of hard to level up. There's not enough speech um, dialogue options to level it up, and I have several things that allow me to level up speech. So let's 
kind of convenient. All right, I might grab this stuff because it's a little bit better than fur armor, at least in as far as looks go. Let's see. Iron shield. I'll just take this stuff to melt down, basically. All right. What do you have? More imperial stuff. Ooh, a steel dagger. I'm going to use that. All right. Oh, nice. Let's grab all of your stuff. You can use your hood. Oh. Can't get to the book yet. Okay. I already have that spell, but I can sell it. Oh, come on. His uh, hitbox is way too big. I don't know what, in, what is making that. Alright, I believe I can't go very much farther. Let's unlock this and get a little bit more skill. And some coin purse. Alright. A little stutter there. It's okay. All right, some rags. Don't want the rags. I would like the bone meal because oh, this guy doesn't have any bone meal. Just gold. Where does he hide gold on him? That, that's a little bit weird. Okay, I believe I'm almost to the point where I have to turn back. Oh boy, it's dark in here. Nope, I guess not. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, a little bit of a stutter there. Hmm, I don't have an Imperial cape. Need a helmet too. There's a sword, some arrows. I don't need the longbow. I have a bow. Sword, arrows, dagger. Arrow, mace. Ooh, that's a heavy shield though, but it looks nice. I'll leave his armor. Okay, here's where I can't go any farther. Okay. So. I'm going to walk out to the outside. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back outside. <sighs> Let's turn our compass back on to see where we need to go. I don't really need it. I just wanted to have it on for a second. It's 1 p.m. I like that little um, clock in the corner nice heads-up display. I also unlocked a couple of the locks on the way out that I didn't uh, get to. Alright, um, I believe the cave is right over here. Yep. All right, let me save it because <laughs> I hadn't saved it this whole time. Uh, it's already auto saved once, but I'm all right. Here we go. Since I didn't really fight anybody yet, and I haven't leveled up anything except for that one skill point, uh, I think I'm gonna go kill the spiders before I get Rayloth or um, or Hadvar. Be back in a minute. Uh, let's take that. Oops, I kind of bumped it into him. Let's just throw that over there. Ooh, forgot about that. Okay, let's go over here and um, I think there's a skeleton. There's a iron dagger here and a potion of health. Let's sneak here. Alright. 
Ugh. The spider webs. I, I have an HD spider web mod. I don't know why. It just makes them look a lot creepier. I'm going to go up here because those guys are going to be coming out in a second. Once you get past a certain point, uh, those guys pop down and grab their spider eggs. Ooh. There's, there they are. Uh, they are... Oh, you missed me. Hey. Got you. I see you. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on. There we go. Archery's increased. Let's grab all of their goodies. I don't need to go all the way back to get, um, I mean, this is good enough. I mainly wanted the frostbite venom and the experience for killing the spiders. Um, let's grab their eggs. Oh, blood on my screen, or face, if you will. <laughs> Oh, these HD spider webs are just nasty looking. Really good, oh, really well made, but nasty. Ugh. I think I got everything. Oh. Um, might have been one more over here I might have missed. Yep, and he had a little gold on him. Uh, I don't need to go there. It's okay. It's kind of a waste. Ew. Ew, ew, I went the wrong way. Gross. Okay. Spiders are kind of gross. Alright, here's the choice we have to make. Storm cloaks are imperial. Now, the wood elves are kind of on the side of the Old Mary Dominion in a way. And the Old Mary Dominion is kind of backing the imperials. And the Stormcloaks are not very fond of elves. And even though Rayloff or Hadvar may not have those views at this moment, I'm going to choose the Empire. Um, I came here to see what was going on. Or whatever. Cough, cough, yeah. Uh, well, he's basically uh, confused and thinking I'm the guy that was burnt up, so it's not voice acted. Um, <sighs> yes, I have one right here. He's asking for a health potion. Okay. So let's give him one of the minor ones. All right. Feel much better? Good. And poor Hadvar got squished by a rock. Poor Hadvar. Alright, let's go Rayloff or no the headvar is this one. Rayloff is the other guy. I keep getting them mixed up. It's not hard to get them mixed up. But let's get out of here. And then I think I'm going to configure Clara Lux. Okay. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. And That's it's nice. probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Alright, good luck. I'm going to wait a couple hours. By couple, I mean six or seven. Um it might get really dark. I don't know. Ooh, wow. That is Oh, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. Okay, there's no actual lights I can... Hmm, I might have to go to Riverwood. Oh, well. Let's do that real quick. Okay, there's a light I can test it on. Sort of, for my campfire light. It's not particularly dark in here. But I would like to... Have some... I mean, have that boosted a little bit. Alright, um, let's 
get our bow out just in case. And I didn't hotkey my... Uh, well, let's use this axe for a secondary weapon because it's stronger. Um, we got a steel dagger, and I might use dual daggers, I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, I think I will. Let's just do it. Okay. And we're going to have... Um, where's the steel dagger go? I didn't hotkey it. I mean, favored it. <laughs> okay. Let's put this one on one. This one on two. Healing potions on seven, because I always have healing on seven. Uh, this one on eight. I'll use this one if I want it later. It's not as important. Um, the rest I can just... Well, healing, actually I want to put this on. Because potions are a secondary thing. I don't want to spam them. Alright, that should be good. There's a nice light. I don't know. It seems bright enough. I'll adjust it later. I'm just going to get to Riverwood and get my my um, the Standing Stone ability. Get to Riverwood and then end the video. Ooh, that was a long drop. Alright, I'm going to choose Mage because if you choose this, it levels up your sneak and whatnot way too fast. Um... And the point of leveling up is not to be super fast at it, it's just to do it efficiently. And since I'm using my magic as a backup to my skills, um, they will level up slower anyway. So I want to boost that a little bit. Uh, I'll do that later. Let's get our bow out, I think. All right, almost to Riverwood. Should be some wolves around here, and I'll, I can use my ability on them. Wow, look at that moon. Uh-huh, maybe I can sneak past them, I don't know. I don't want to have to fight them if I don't have... Um, I don't want to fight them if I don't have to. Keep saying things backwards. Oh, I think it just saved. There's an auto save function when I sneak. So when I sneak, it automatically saves. Not when I go into combat, but when I sneak. So it does do a minor stutter when you when it does auto save. All right. Some of the sounds are a little bit off. Oh, nope, wrong button. Like, when I pick something, not everything is, uh... Well... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, the field lab. Okay. Let's read the letter. Um... Letter to... Dragon Claw. Uh, let's wait until this goes away. And then I can read it. Come on. Alright. I know there have been certain uh, complications regarding the sale of the merchandise the last time we did business. But a month ago, during our last raid in Vanderfell, I think it's Vanderfell. I think the first V is silent. Anyway, uh, we stumbled over a mis magic artifact on the Azura Coast. I know of your connections to the different mages guild of Tamriel, so I thought it might be of interest to you. It's a sphere made of, out of a most peculiar artifact... Uh, um, Particular material, it seems to be spinning beneath the surface and it's emanating a uh, quiet, comforting warmth 
as if that was not enough I've seen it slightly glow in the dark like most of that magical stuff it has only brought us problems one of my men kept poking it with a stick um, whereupon it somehow lifted itself upon the air up in the air and took that noisy idiot with it when it when he left uh, let go of it both he and the spear came crashing down to the floor at least the ball survived the fall on survived the fall on skates sorry it's hard to read that um, as always I am making you a special offer in spite of all the trouble 2,000 coins for the artifact if you are interested put the gold just as last time into the hollow uh, tree stump on the plateau between uh, Boulder Fall Cave and Clear Spring Tarn uh, after we get our money you are going to find the goods in the same place um, signed Cliff Racer okay and that's gonna be my house mod that I'm using later on so now that we have that going on for us and it's night time and I want to adjust Clara Lux this seems like a good enough place to do that uh, so let's go into Clara Lux real quick and this is the latest version now we're gonna do uh, test level mode which locks your so you can't move around uh, because that can mess it up and it tells you that basically here you can read it if you want just pause it and read it um, then we're gonna randomize settings and you have to wait it tells you what settings you have at the moment on the left and when you find something that is nice that you like um, you hit the tab button nope. and Sorry. it stops at that point so it's gonna cycle every few seconds maybe every 30 seconds or so Come on. There's my uncle. yeah I can't do anything right now Rayloth or Hadvar or whatever your name is all right Uncle Alvar, hello. You can adjust it manually, but I'm going to do it this way. You want leave from shores, bones. What happened to you, boy? Are you in some kind of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. I can't even zoom out of my character right now. this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything. Come on, change. There we go. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Eh, that's, I guess, good enough. I'll fiddle with it later. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, you have to push, um, go back into here. So, you clear Lux, control, and then you turn off the randomized settings and turn off the uh, light level test. Um, and I don't want the glow to be that powerful it's just a little bit too much let's put it down to seven and the light variance I'm going to put down about three and the light level's fine um, I believe there's a l oh, another setting light glow it's just a little too high I think I'll turn it down to let's turn it down to three see what that looks like It'll take a second. It's not too bad. Okay. <sighs> well, thank you for um, sticking with me on this first episode of my Let's Play. Um, I'll be making a new episode probably tomorrow. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla. Oh, it's so pretty. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Shut up. 
Oh, man, I could stare at that sky forever. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like, favorite, um, subscribe, share the video with your friends, tell them I'm here, tell them I'm making a modded Let's Play of Skyrim, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.